Hello class, hello teachers. In this lesson video, we are going to talk about expected value and its application. This is a continuation of what we talked about last time, which was, which was about expected value or mean for discrete data. So if you haven't seen that video, uh, here's the link. Okay, so make sure that you see that first before you go to this lesson video. Now, most of the application problems related to this is about, uh, is about playing a game that involves money. Now, let's go to the first problem. In a game of chance, the player spins a square spinner labeled 1, 2, 3, and 4 and wins the amount of money shown in the table alongside depending on which number comes up. So imagine how the game is being played where you have a spinner labeled 1, 2, 3, and 4 and you're going to spin it. Now if uh, the spinner lands on 1 then you're going to win $1. If it lands on 2 you're going to win $2. So here are the questions. Determine the expected return for one spin of the spinner Determine whether you would recommend a person to play this game if it costs $5 to play one game. Now, what is expected return? So let's have the definition. So we have three terms here. Expected gain, expected return, and cost. So expected gain of the player from each game is the expected return or payout from the game less the amount it costs them play. So we can put that... Um, as a formula and it will go like this expected gain is equal to expected return minus the cost so this is like um, this is like in business where in expected gain is your profit expected return is the total sales mine and the cost is the total cost and then the game is fair if the expected gain is zero so in business, it is like you don't have a profit at all if the expected uh, gain is zero. And how can you have a zero expected gain? That is if expected return is the same as the cost. Now let's illustrate the concept of expected return using the application problem one. So let's go back to this table. So expected return is equal to E of Y if your Y is assume if you represent Y to be the return or the payout from uh, each spin. So this is the, uh, if you remember, this is the formula for the expected uh, value or mean, which is equal to 1 fourth times 1 plus 1 fourth times 2 plus 1 fourth times 5 plus 1 fourth times 8, and that is equal to $4. So this is the expected payout. Now notice that we use the probability, okay? So if you are going to spin that spin, so definitely it might fall at one, two, three, or four. So the probability of getting a one, probability of getting a two, three, four, will be the same, will be equal to one fourth. All right, so looking at this, you have to know first the probability and then you multiply it to the amount of winning and then you get the summation okay so what now is the expected gain so for you to answer letter B uh, we have to know the expected gain so expected gain is equal to expected return minus the cost right so let X be the gain from each game so we can now have e of x minus the cost, which is equal to $4. That is coming from here. $4 is your expected return. Minus $5, which is the given cost. So that is equal to negative $1. So the negative here, it means um, it, it's actually a loss. So you will lose $1 for playing one game if the cost is five dollars so uh, determine whether you would recommend a person to play this game if it costs five dollars to play one game 
So what do you think? So if the expected gain is negative one dollar, that means you lost one dollar, and I think you know the answer that you're not going to recommend for that player to play this game. Application problem number two: A person rolls a normal six-sided die and wins the number of dollars shown on the face. Letter A: Find the expected return from one roll of a die. B. Find the expected gain of the player if it costs $4 to play the game. Who do you advise the person to play several games? C. Suppose it costs K dollars to play the game. What value or values of K will result, will result in a fair game, a profit being made by the vendor? Now let's answer letter A. But of course, it would help us to answer this if we come up uh, with a distribution table. And this is how it's going to look like. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and six. Those are the possibilities when you are act when 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 you roll a die, and the probability for each is one over six. So it says you win the number of dollars shown on the face. So it means if it lands uh, on two, then you're going to win two dollars. If it's at five, then you're going to win five dollars. So what is the expected return? So remember, we have to get the summation of the product of the probability to the corresponding amount of winning. So it's going to be one times one over six plus two times one over six plus three dollars times one over six plus four dollars times one over six plus five dollars times one over six plus six dollars times one over six. So the expected return is 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 in dollars. It's going to be money. Alright? So the answer will be three point five dollars. What about B? Find the expected gain of the player if it costs four dollars to play the game. Would you advise the person to play several games? So that means we're going to use the formula for the expected gain, which is equal to expected return minus cost. And the expected return that we calculated from the previous slide, uh, pre previous slide is 3.5. And the cost when we play this game is $4. So the expected gain is equal to negative $0.5. So who do you advise? Definitely not, okay? Because the expected gain is negative, so it is a loss. Let us see. Suppose it costs K dollars to play the game. What values of K will result in a fair game? Remember, uh, it will be a fair game if the expected gain is equal to zero. Alright, so from the expected return that we calculated from the previous slide, uh, it is equal to $3.5. So which means the cost per game must be $3.5 to have a fair game. So therefore, K is equal to $3.5. Or K is equal to $3.5. What about uh, double I? Uh, what, suppose it cost k dollars to play the game what value or values of k will result in a profit being made by the vendor so this means that uh, the vendor must have a profit so for the vendor to gain a profit the cost needs to be more than 3.5 dollars therefore our answer should be k greater than 3.5 Okay, so that's that's about it. Okay, I hope you learned the concept. I hope you learned something. Um, if you do have a questions, please write a comment below or give me a message. And that's it for today. Uh, please watch out for the next video, which will be about the variance of the discrete uh, probability distribution. Thank you very much and see you again next time.